What is good, YouTube? If you're not in the free Discord, I'm just going to get it out of the way at the beginning of the video. Go join it. It is linked down below. But we're going to be going over two of the scalps that I took today, both on the five-second chart. I missed the sell-off because my bias was very bullish because NQ at equal highs. I wanted to see them get ran, so I stuck to the bias, ended up not taking any shorts, even though I should have flipped with the SMT, but we'll get into that. But right here, you can see this trade. This one was taken on top step X. You can see it was about 14 points. Yeah, 14 points, two contracts. This one was about $540 or something. This one I took here and got filled out at this high, got stopped out of my last contract to break even. So. We are going to go over the other one first, right? The top step X because that one was taken first. So that one happened at 1035 right here. So let's go over this. So what do we see on the one minute chart, right? Well, we see that NQ has displaced higher, taking out this high. And right here is where I should have flipped my bias. We create SMT at this high, sweep these highs, and now we're getting displacement lower. Right here would have been a great short entry, but I wasn't confident in taking any shorts yet. Looking back now, right, it's always great to look back to see what mistakes you made. Imbalance, change in the state of delivery, breaker. This trade was a beauty, right? Down to this low, take off partials around these imbalances. This was a great trade. Right here was the second chance, but right here is where I took a scalp long. So let's go over this. What do we see on NQ, right? Well, to make us go to this low, we're gonna need a stop run, right? We're gonna need a five minute fair value gap. And right here, you can see that we created one. So my scalp long was just this high, right? I was confident in the five second chart giving me an entry to get to this high, but then I should have I should have reversed the position to be completely honest with you because this is a textbook short, right? Already respecting bearish order flow up here, disrespecting all these bullish PD arrays, breaker. It was a beautiful short if I just reversed my trade, but I didn't. So we're going to go over this, right? What do we see on the one minute, right? We create a high, we create a low. So on the five second, what is this? Well, we rebalance these inefficiencies. We stop out these lows and then we get displacement out of this range. Change in the state of delivery right here. We respect it. That's why these are breakaway gaps, right? This candles are these candles are closing above these candles highs, making these breakaway gaps. When this candle gets closed above, we aren't going to go lower than here. So realizing that, and then I see us displace out of here. Imbalance right here is the long, right? So I slap a long onto here. I risk off right around there, and then I target a tick above these highs. I think I got out at 13.50 actually. 13 or. 33.25 so I got out right here so a 13.25 trade I'm up $518 on this uh, top step X account that's why I keep looking over here because my executions are over there but I showed you guys that trade now the other trade I took let's get out of replay mode and go find this trade executions where are you right here so if we zoom in took a long right here oops so I can get the executions off oh. okay so right here uh, let's get out of replay mode or let's get into replay mode so I don't lose my spot right here what do we see on the one minute once again we rebalance price right here if we're gonna respect that I'd assume that we go to wait yeah I got out up here so I assume that we are going to go up to this high. So I take a long on the five second chart up to this high right here. Just a nice quick scalp. And I risked off right under this candle, five points for a little over 12 points, right? Once again, very simple scalp. What do we do? Rebalance into a one minute fair value gap. We take out sell side, displace back inside this range five second fair value gap, it delivers us to this buy side, right? Simple trade, and then I got stopped out of my last contract to break even. The reason for that is because I wanted to leave it as a runner to these equal highs, because the one minute, right, we're trading the lower time frames, but whenever all the time frames are in alignment, 
we can get more expansions with less risk on the lower time frame. So the one minute was setting up, in my opinion, to deliver to those equal highs, right? Respecting bullish fair value gaps, right? This inefficiency gets respected, even though we res respect those, right? But I was assuming after rebalancing down here, we form an SMT here with the ES. I'm pretty sure we did. We form an SMT uh, here. No, we don't. Okay. No, we don't. Sorry. So, uh, uh, fair value gaps are being respected. I couldn't even think of what I was trying to say, but the one minute looked like it was, it wanted to go to these equal highs, right? Smooth highs, beautiful setup, but we don't quite get there, right? I wanted to see this order block. Why is this an order block? Comes into a bullish PD array, respects it. So I wanted to see this candle hold us. And unfortunately, come on. Why is this lagging? Okay. Unfortunately, we don't respect it. I don't know why this shit's lagging, but I got stopped out at break even. So two very simple scalps today. But the reason I wanted to see those uh, let's not remove all these drawings. Uh, I wanted to see these equal highs get ran is because equal highs love to get targeted, right? We have perfect equal highs up here. Do I still think they get ran? Yes. What's the higher time frame draw? These two equal lows, right? Just like I said in Friday's video, an original consolidation with equal lows, that's going to be the target. But we didn't get there today and we didn't take those equal highs. So both biases right now didn't play out. We got really good price action for a no news Monday, but unfortunately I didn't catch the sell off and it is what it is. But other than that, it's pretty much gonna be the video. We just took the range low here. So if we go to this, if we get displacement, I'd assume this range high gets taken. So that's gonna be it from me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. Oh yeah. Give me some video ideas to do because I'm running out of ideas. So either leave it in the comments below or, or come join the free discord, communicate and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. So that's going to be it from me. There's nothing to trade in this range, right? I'm going to go swim. Other than that, I'm out of here. Uh, little green day up about $700 and between the two accounts and that's going to be it so drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new 5k by the end of july other than that i'm out bye, -bye, -bye, -bye.